Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to create project plan in Log Framer. I'm using Log Framer 3.1. So, how to create a project plan? If you see here, we have four basic functionalities in Log Framer. First one is project, which is used to create profile of the project. Second one is for building Log Framer metrics. Third one is for creating project plan. Last one is for creating budget. So uh, let's create project plan. Where to begin from? Let's visit log frame matrix and add some activities here. So let me add some activities here. Procuring machines and installing. Training that is commissioning. I forgot one activity that is uh, testing. Let me add testing also. So, since uh, testing should come after installations, so I need to move it upsides. How to do it? On the menu bar, just click items. And if you click item, you see here. We have two options. One is move up, or the second one is move down. So we need to move it up. If you see, just click one, you see it has moved up one step back. But still, I need to move it one step further. Now it's right. Now let me click planning. So the moment I do it, you see here, all those activities are appearing here with the start date and end date. Log Framer uses the current date as the start date and end date by default. Other than that, you see here in bar chart, bars of all activities are also appearing. Right? Now let me adjust some dates of these activities. Let me click first activity so start date is fine for me and let me change the second, I mean the end date. Double click it here. Let me change it to 25. You see the bar has changed. And look at the detail also, the end date has been changed here. If this window, the second component part is not appearing in your window so you can uh, uh, activate it how so just go to uh, layout and here you see we have one option that is a height details if height details it will hide out and if you click it show details so details will come up here in second step what we need we need to establish linkages among these activities Installations will come only after procurements. So what I need to establish a linkage, finish to start, what we call it FS relationship here. And how to establish this relationship? The two ways. The first one is just change specifications here in the details. And second one is changing from here. And how to do it? Let me show you. On the menu bar, if you click items, and here you see one option is there that's for link. Just click it. And then move the cursor of your mouse to the first activity, preceding it, I mean the predecessor, and bring it to the end. The moment we bring it to the end, you see here, a sign of plus is appearing here. Now push left button of your mouse and drag it. You see a blue line with an arrow is appearing here. Let me bring it to the start of the second activity in the installations. So the moment I did it, the relationship has been established here. Right? And details have changed here also. You see here. So the activity starts one day, 
after procuring machines. So the same method we can apply on other activities also. Secondly, we can change the duration in another way also. How? For example, I want to change the duration of the second activity. Move the cursor to this one here and the moment double arrow appears here, the uh, push it to uh, push the second mean the left button and drag it. Right? So this is a way you what you can do. You can establish linkages among activities and also increase or decrease the duration of the activity. There another way also. For reducing the duration or increasing the duration, it is come to the details. And let me put here four. Right. And uh, You see, the duration has been changed now. Right? So, now coming to some other details here. And uh, if you connect to the activities here, any activity here, you see, we on menu bar, if you click items, we have one option that is called insult a child. This is used to create subordinate activities. Let me add a child here. You see a new activity has appeared and these are the WMS codes. Exactly same code what we use in MS project here. So the testing sir, first one is so designing. Testing and then is uh, reporting. And you see, so all three activities they are now subordinate of the previous activity in the testing. And in the bar chart, also you see here. So here you see the black. Uh, uh, top. This arrow is showing that this is a summary task just like uh, we see it in MS project and these are the subordinate activities. Right? So this is a way uh, we can create a project plan in block frame. Thanks for watching.